Hey guys. Well, uh, this is the second video in my complication series, as I call it. Um, if you haven't seen the first video, you should go and see it because this video isn't going to make any sense, really. Um, if you haven't seen the first one, we're basically up to step 11. I left it off with um, the surgeon having an endoscope and nothing came up. So, um, the endoscopy reports nothing. The surgeon schedules a laparoscopy, which is basically like the operation on your head, except they go in all the same way, but they're just looking around. Um, and um, I was under the influence that they were just looking, but as it turns out that during the surgery they found something. They found an abscess on my stomach, which I had no idea what the hell it was, and it turns out um, it's bad. I still don't really know what it is, it's sort of like an ulcer on the stomach, and uh, it had punctured through my stomach, which was all I needed to know. So um, I wake up in severe pain on my side, I'm, I'm on my side, and um, it hurts to breathe, and I scream for nurse's health, <laughs> for nurse's health, for nurse's help, and um, they hook up medicine to a remote. Now I'm not normally like that, so that sort of, you know, I'm normally a very calm and sometimes quiet person, so for, for me to, you know, distract a nurse from what she's doing to come over to me is, should, you know, should tell people that I was in a lot of pain, it was very painful, and I didn't have the, the little button thing, if you've been to surgery, you know, they hook up a button and it injects a, a very nice chemical that takes away the pain, uh, but they didn't have that hooked up until I requested it when I was in a lot of pain. Um, and, but the medicine did not help in the absolute slightest. It was like injecting water. And I was, you know, I was in a lot of pain, it hurt to breathe, and I'm pressing the button and it's beeping, but nothing's happening. And then I can't press it for another five minutes. I had a five minute timer. So, um, I finally, after a while, I settle down and they take me back to the ward. Um, the rest of the day is pretty much a blur. I mean, um, I think the, the surgery was in the afternoon, so there wasn't really much uh, left of the day. The nurses insist that I use the medicine. I stopped using it altogether because, um, you know, just pressing, you know, injecting myself with nothing. I didn't really see it as a good thing. But they say um, if I kept pressing it, uh, eventually it would start to work. You know, I got to keep pressing it. But they also told me if they pre if I press it too much. Uh, it'll increase my nausea, <laughs> which, which uh, I did not find a really pleasant thing to do. So at this point, I'm in a lot of pain. They tell me if I I got to keep pressing it um, for it to work, and I was just you know I was out of it. So I start pressing it, and I think it was more of a mental thing than an actual physical thing. Um, you know, I kept pressing it, and then it would beep, and then I would just hope that this one would be the one that took away the pain. Um, it still hurts to breathe the, the, the next day, um, but in the night before, uh, it consists of short breaths to stop the stomach from hurting. So um, I was I was literally I was literally breathing. Uh, I was like that just because taking a big breath or taking even a medium or a small to medium breath just hurt and I had no idea why because I was completely out of it because of the pain and um, the, a pump is hanging from my right side all I know is that this tube is coming out and it runs to this little plastic um, container um, that was red I was really hoping it was not blood and um, that ran to a bag and um, and I haven't been brave enough to inspect what the pump was until the next day. And I'm surprised to find a tube running from my side. Literally, there's an open wound. Still, today, there's an open wound on my right-hand side, and there's a pipe coming out of it. Um, the surgeon tells me that there's an abscess has formed on my stomach, um, punctured the stomach, and a stint has been put into place to prevent leakage, and the pump is taking... Well, it's taking pus away from the abscess. So a synth, um, to my knowledge, is basically 
this tube that they put down my throat by endoscopy and um, they then expanded it and that's that stopped um, anything that I swallow to come out of the of the hole so um, the pump is eventually replaced well the the, the tube led to the pump and what they did was they cut the pipe um, and then they put a bag over the pipe which um, stuck to my stomach up. I'll actually show you guys if you squeamish look away now because it's really rather and it's not very nice but I'll show you what it looks like let me shrink this so I can see what I'm doing so um, this is my stomach you can see um, my scars here, here and here, they're the laparoscopic scars and they went in through the, the same scars when they did the the laparoscopy and this is the bag here now it's the bag and as you can see this thing here coiling around is the tube coming out of the open wound and that is um, that's a safety pin to make sure the pin that to make sure the tube doesn't go inside the wound and it runs down into the bag here and that's pus from the abscess and that's um, a tube where it can be emptied so um, that's what I've had for a long time now it's supposed to come out today actually but the nurses didn't come so they're coming tomorrow hopefully um, to remove the tube altogether which is sort of weird um, I've had the I've had several different bags you know they've got to keep replacing them and it's it's like putting sticky tape on, on your hairy arm and then ripping it off each time they take off the bag. That's really painful. So, um, I've reached my time limit, so I'm going to have to stop it there. That's the end of video two. If you haven't seen video one, I really need a lot of people to subscribe so my videos can be shown when people search. I think that's the reason why they're not coming up when people search. So, um, tell all your friends about my video channel, and um, I hope you tune in for video three.